Hey guys and welcome back. So I thought I'd do a video today. Um, it's something I've done a couple times now. So I thought I'd do a video on it because I see this issue coming up a lot in people's cars, whether they're 910s or older, just the older ver versions of Nissans and that. So the problem that people are having is that the, especially in the 19s, so this is the dash, surround sort of, the cluster goes inside and then it drops over onto another panel. So the problem here is, and you might be able to see it on the camera, is that this was actually black at one point. So it's faded, um, there's quite a few marks in it where it's just um, sun fade and stuff like that. There's a few cracks which I'm not going to worry about fixing. Um, but I've been asked a couple of times, because I did it on another one, how I recolored this. So a cheap and easy way of recoloring it that's going to last a while because we all know reupholstering stuff isn't cheap, especially nowadays. Like I got a price on reupholstering two seats and it was a thousand, oh, like 1500 NZ. So I'm just trying to find easy and cheap ways of redoing this. So we have here some black, gloss black engine enamel. So it's just ba basic engine enamel. I think I paid like $13 for this can. Um, I'll link it in the description. And then we have a cheap $7 clear coat. So it's just a generic, all base rattle can clear. Um, you could use a, gun, a proper clear coat and gun if you chose. We were going to do that, but things have changed and we're not painting anything today at this stage. So we're just using that. I need to get some more clear because that can's empty. Um, I'll bring in here and I'll show you what it comes out like. So this one was done a couple weeks ago. Mine's a few little dirty fingerprints and some dust on it. But that sort of gives you an idea. Um, you still have that rippled, it's sort of hard to get, get on the camera. You still have that rippled texture through it. So it sort of like sits in the factory texture. Um, it just sort of makes a layer over it. This is set with two layers of clear. And it's come up really nice, like as you can see there I didn't worry about the cracks, um, there is a few imperfections on it, but realistically like that was going to cost me 215 to get redone, um, and I just didn't want to spend the money. These here were actually grey when I put them on, so again black dash, and I just hit them with some engine black, haven't cleared them yet, still got to sand out a few imperfections in it. It didn't like the rubber up the top, so that's an easy fix. But it sort of gives me a way of recolouring parts of this car because they're hard to find. Like this here was actually blue, um, and I painted it with black. I'm going to go over it and sand it to give it that rough texture. The ashtray was brown, so again, I've got to sand that back. That actually got hit with clear as well to see what it was. That was sort of my first test. Um, I am tempted to paint the entire dash black, but I might just keep a couple bits gloss black and as they come up or as I can find them in Australia, I'll get them shipped over. So, yeah, it gives you an idea of what, what it comes up like. Um, other little project we're doing? Don't ask. Um, so, I'll do a couple layers on this. Um, I don't think I'll be able to set the phone up to record it because my camera is currently unavailable as the SD card shed itself. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy and we'll get going with this. Right guys, so we're back. Um, I've just bombed on about two layers. So as you can see, the crack's still there, but it has sort of coloured it. You could probably fill it with something, but I haven't tried any of that. There's a couple of cracks on the corner. But it doesn't look bad, like, you can still see the texture, um, there was a little bit of bubbling here on this edge, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but compared to a hundred, hundred odd dollars to get this redone, redone um, 17 bucks I'll live in any day, I'll bomb some clear on it and it'll last longer than most other leathers, so you could buy cheap PLA leather, wrap it and whatever, but realistically for 17 bucks couple layers of clear coat on it it's going to outlast most of the cheap leather you can buy like most people if they're going to do it themselves will go buy cheap leather they won't buy high-end leather 
and then with leather it deteriorates in the sun you've got to oil it and all this other stuff where at least with this being clear coated you just get some armor on wipes wipe it and you're done and it only takes like a couple minutes so well like this video is probably going to be about six minutes long i spent at least two minutes just bombing some coats on it and yeah now with doing stuff like this make sure you're doing it on a hot day so it's quite a nice day out here it's about 23 degrees i think it is bit of a breeze going on so it's dried the paint quite quick so like it's not tacky at all set um paint when using an engine enamel buy spend a bit more buy a better engine enamel you can buy a six seven dollar cheap ones um i found buying the dupla color one the best one as it's just a nice for some reason it sprays nicer i don't know if it's a nozzle the coloring's nicer and everything about it it's just a nicer finish it's also um being an engine enamel people ask why i use engine enamel it's designed for heat it's designed to be hot so especially with painting something like a dash around that gets the light through the windscreen it's magnified light so it's going to get hot um using an engine enamel you prevent there being any disc like any of the color coming out same with using like with the clear coat i just buy a cheap one because i didn't have much money at the time and i just saw this seven bucks why not it actually works pretty well um for the dash bits i'll probably buy you can buy um heat clear or whatever i forget what it's called uh, when i when i buy some i'll link in the description below but pretty much it's designed to get hot it's designed for that purpose again magnified light through a windscreen is what deteriorates dashes and other bits and pieces so that's the dash done um this process works on anything like the side bits i had to sand a little bit and give them a quick sand off and do it too i've done the selector surround so i painted that in the same black um it came out pretty nice it was a few marks on the plastic that i didn't worry about so pretty much i'm just painting anything that isn't already black um this surround here is already fine but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave give it a thumbs up um there's a i'm losing track of what i'm saying um there's a new series going to be coming so i did a poll on instagram about whether if i was going to do some videos based on wish items what you guys want to see so by the looks of it i'm buying wish car parts which could be scary in many ways um so i'll be doing that coming up um that video is probably going to take a month or so to film simply because of the fact that you buy stuff off wish you gotta wait fucking six seven weeks for it to get here um but there was talk between us of doing something a bit different and if you guys would be interested doing a drift car wish build well aliexpress wish because it's the same same company so pretty much we'll be buying as much stuff off aliexpress within reason and building a track car so i've got access to a 32 rolling body that needs the cage welded in and as you guys know wish and aliexpress are quite broad they have a lot of items on there um especially for motors like i've got these de blocks laying around i've got the heads you can buy gasket kits i've found forged rods and pistons so pretty much if you guys want to see a wish slash aliexpress drift car build leave a comment or a like below um it will be a big outlay because stupidly enough a lot of the parts i can buy on wish and aliexpress i can buy on trade me here or i can buy here for pretty much the same price people are just dodged like sketched out about it because it's from china and all this kind of crap so having a look last night i can buy pretty much everything i need i can even buy wheels off aliexpress so um as much of the stuff as we can buy off aliexpress we will buy certain things i won't buy off aliexpress simply because if i'm going to track car it like the bucket seats have to be to a certain spec um well i don't know if they have to be to a certain spec but 
I just don't want to crash in a car with a bucket seat from China and it snap in half and cause some damage. So there will be limits to on safety, safety wise on what I'll allow to be put in the car. But pretty much the entire mode of turbo setup, everything will be off wish. Um, I can buy oil filters off wish. So anything that can come off wish for the motor will be brought. Camber arms, um, interior shit, body kits. You can buy fucking, I saw last night, um, the Mustang style rocket bunny kit for an S14. So I'll buy a body kit off wish or AliExpress, whatever one I find the nicest looking kit on. And yeah, so if you want to see that video, let me know below. Um, I've dragged this one out longer than I expected. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and jump over to the Instagram because as I said, I post a lot more stuff on there because a lot of stuff doesn't make the videos simply because it's only spare of the moment things I'm doing and don't have time or have people around so I can't record. But yeah. Have a good weekend, hope you enjoy it, and laters.